It is with profound sadness that we announce the death of Joseph Antoine, affectionately known as Brother Frankie of Wavin Poisson Labbey, who passed away on Sunday, 2nd December 2018 at the Victoria Hospital at 10.39 a.m. He was 86 years old. He was predeceased by his daughter, Vera Verna Antoine, left to mourn his passing, his beloved wife, Shuma Elvina Antoine of Wavin Poisson, his three children, Drusilla Antoine of Ontario, Canada, Meryl Antoine and his wife, Suline Antoine of Florida, Curdy Antoine and his wife, Victoria Antoine of Calgary, Canada, brother, Raymond Gilbert and family of Trinidad and Tobago, sister, Anne Lionel, affectionately known as Beautied and family of Sarat, nieces and nephews, children of his deceased brother, Christopher Antoine, affectionately known as Ellis of Sarat, children of his deceased sister, Mary Hippolyt, affectionately known as Marjon of Sarat, children of his deceased sister, Anne Marie Mitchell, affectionately known as Eldika of Badini, children of his deceased brother, Antoine, Antoine. Grandchildren, Missy Antoine in St. Kitts, Zoe Solomon in St. Croix, Saskia Antoine in Canada, Corey Favrier in New York, Clarissa Hazel in Maryland. Cousins, Emmanuel family of Wavin Poisson, Cadet family of Sarat, Thomas family of Labbaye, Antoine family of Foisson, Sarat, Bexon, Hippolyte family of Sarat, Grand Riviere, and Den Riviere. Sisters-in-law, Mary Anna Antoine, affectionately known as Suma of Sarat, Mary Peter and family of Wavin Poisson, Leona Charles and family of Wavin Poisson, brothers-in-law, Franklin Lionel of Sarat, best friend Joseph Alphonse of Labbaye, members of the Labbaye Seventh-day Adventist Church and the Labbaye community. The funeral service for the late Joseph Antoine, affectionately known as Brother Frankie, will be held at the Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church Labbaye on Thursday, December 13th, 2018 at 2 p.m. His body will be laid to rest at the Labbaye Cemetery. His body now lies at Rambali's Funeral Parlour, Calvary Road, Castries. May his soul rest in peace.